before we delve into seeing fairies in art, and you may well have found fairies or faces when you've done your artwork, whether it's tie-dye, non-dominant hand, painting, soap making, or eco-printing. You're dealing with the natural world. And today we're going to just talk about fairies, the green world that comes from working with live plants. And a lot of people are doing eco printing without even realizing that they have, they're working with life force energy and living beings. And it's part of God. So it's nothing to be afraid of or think that it's woo woo or scary. It's just a part of life that we are not so familiar with because we're so wrapped up in our lives and we don't take time to follow our intuition or be guided by God or our intuition because we're so wrapped up in other activities. And being in the garden and working with live plants is one way that we can do that. Plants are our allies, our teachers and our healers. And sometimes they speak to us. And of course you probably heard playing music for plants is healthy for them and they love to be talked to. You may even talk to your plants in your garden or the ones you keep in your home. But talking to plants is normal and they do respond. They respond to heat and fire. That's been proven too. And they communicate with us but most of the time we're just not listening. So one time I had this air fern that I was keeping in my bathroom on the back of the toilet tank. And um, I thought it looked like it was half dead. So I decided I was gonna throw it in the trash. As I was throwing it into the trash, it said, wait, I'm not dead yet. It said that to me, I heard it. As clear as could be. It wasn't loud, it was just in my intuition that I heard it say that. So I kept it out, watered it, took off the dead pieces, and repotted it, and that plant lived for a long time. So it did communicate with me. It wasn't ready to die. Now I also know a lady named Marsha that lives in Hawaii. She's an author and theatrical person. And she one day was riding her bike in Hawaii down the sidewalk and she went, came up upon this beautiful bush of bougainvillea and it said to her, celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. She heard it as plain as day. That plant was communicating with her. Now, if you've taken any aspirin in your life, that's important to know that the Native Americans discovered aspirin through their intuition and working with plants. So this is nothing that's not known in the world. You may have heard of Findhorn Foundation. It was started by Peter and Eileen Caddy. And that was back in the 70s. Eileen and Peter were meditating a lot. And they were very spiritual people, very connected to God. And one day Eileen was meditating and she heard the words, be still and know that I am God. So she got the message that in stillness, that's where we find God, in our intuition and in our meditation. Now she had a friend named Dorothy McLean and Dorothy was also an avid meditator. And Dorothy had the ability to communicate with the plant divas. She's written many books about it, and she lived to be a ripe old age, but um, she did many lectures throughout Scotland and the US and, and um, England on her communications with the plant world. Well, the three of them were down and out and broke. And they ended up having to live in a trailer on a kind of a deserted beach in Scotland that had no, it was all sandy, nothing grew there. And they were so down and out and destitute that they had to 
start growing their own food. So when they did this, and Dorothy McLean started tuning into the plant world, and they started being guided on what to do, how to care for the soil, how to bring it back to life, what plants they should plant, and how they should take care of them. And there's a whole lot of books written on the subject. I'd love for you to delve into it. But during this time, they were aware of this green community of beings that are on just on the other side that are caring for each blade of grass as part of God's work. Now Eckhart Tolle in his book, The New Earth, talks about releasing ourselves from our ego-centeredness, which is based on fear, and following more a path of intuition, whereas we're going with the flow. Now, my thoughts on intuition, uh, the versus the ego, is that when we're in our ego state, we're in like a, like a goldfish in a bowl. We're in that little bowl, swimming around in our own little world, and the big ocean is out there with all the waves in it, and we're also part of those waves, but we've decided to be in our own little fishbowl. Now, if we can release ourselves out of that fishbowl and jump into that ocean and become one with that energetic flow, then our life improves. And we start getting the messages that we need and which way we should go. The more we tune into our intuition, the more we become heart-centered, and the more our life begins to flow with ease and grace. So I invite you to take a look at these fairies that have come through. I really do believe that they're trying to make themselves known to us and that we need to pay attention. Now they don't all, they don't look human, so give up any preconceived notions you have about what fairies are supposed to look like. They come in all shapes and forms and some are beautiful, some look like animals, some look like birds, Maybe these spirits are some birds, cats, squirrels, whatever is coming up for you and ever, however they appear for you, pay attention. And the more you work in your garden and discover more about plants, more mindful you'll become. So I hope you enjoy my video and hope you can see as many fairies as you can in some of these. In some, there's more than one. You only have to look. And if you've been doing eco printing for any time or, or have watched any of the videos, like I think one's called Gum Road. I've seen some fairies in her artwork and I've seen some in M's place. I've seen the green man. So take a look at some of these other people that are doing eco printing and you'll often see birds on branches in there, art, other things that you would not know to look for unless you came here first. Enjoy. try to make anything here, it just happened. It's quite intriguing.
wild. So the the animals, you can see the bird up there, I don't know if you can see it, but they have a place to be. The divas and the fairies, they all like to have a place to sort of wild. Just go and take a look. Now we're entering fairy country. This little glen.